Do some like paint on them or something. I'll dub it. Paint on them? I'll dub it. Like paint? I'll dub it. I'll dub it. I'm done it. Got it out of the mud and no car plus. Yeah. And it's amazing, yeah. Getting paper, yeah. What's good, everybody, man? You already know what it is, man. It's your boy, Rare Kicks, man. I don't know if y'all watch me on TikTok or see what I be doing on TikTok, but uh, basically, I be getting steals. So, I told y'all this in episode one of Reselling Sneakers, like, you can start with zero dollars, and not every pair you gotta get don't have to be a court purple or the newest Jordan 1 or something like that if you're trying to get into reselling. So, this video, I'm gonna just show you guys some pairs that I picked up for the low low uh, at the swap meet. So, let me grab them out my trunk real quick. If you don't follow me on TikTok, you might as well go check it out to see what I'm talking about. The swap meet is like a flea market. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a group community garage sale. It's like a bunch of people buy like a little spot on the parking lot, and everybody brings stuff like the stuff that you see at a garage sale. So it could be anything. People just do it to clear out space. Some people be flipping things that they get for cheap from the store for that they got for free. Stuff, stuff from the, uh, sometimes it's stuff from the thrift, but it's always stuff for the low. So, uh, I'm basically about to show you guys some pairs that I picked up, you know what I'm saying? I go there and I negotiate. I just, you know what I'm saying? If I get stuff for a steal, I get it for steal. If not, it's just a dub. So you're going to see the content. If you want to watch the real life footage, here, let me show them. Because there's footage of me actually buying these things. All right, so, like, here's the type of thing. Oh, here's what I'm talking about. Let's find this swap me video. You guys got to watch these with my swap me videos because this is how I, uh, you know what I'm saying? This is real life footage of what I be doing. Hey, that's vintage tees. Let me try and find some shoes. Okay, here's one. Dang, 600K views? Since when? I didn't even notice we got that much views. Could you do 20? 20? Good So basically, that's what I've been talking. That's what I was talking about in episode one. You know what I'm saying? Like I actually do be buying shoes. Mind you, you see all these royal toes, courts, mochas, all that extra stuff. I still be buying shoes for twenty, thirty dollars. You feel me? For forty dollars. So yeah. So let, I'm about to show you what I got today. Let's start with this bag. So uh, so I ended up picking up these. Mind you, it don't matter. You don't always gotta get you know the most expensive things. But as long as it's something popular that people will want, you can make money. There's profit to be made. You feel me? I got these Prestos, some some chill little Prestos, you know what I'm saying? A little worn, but not too bad. Guess how much I paid? Five. I wish I paid five for them. I paid ten, but uh, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Ten is straight for some Prestos. Cause look, yeah. I can sell them for thirty. That's like a twenty dollars. That's twenty dollars. It's like for me, since I've already built, got like I've been doing this, so I had the ball rolling, so I know I can sell them easily. Like when I look at them and see them for ten, it's kind of like. Why would I not just take twenty? That's like somebody just asked, offering me twenty, hand me twenty dollars. I'm not gonna deny it. So I don't care that I'm not gonna make a big ticket off these. Twenty dollars is lunch, though. You feel me? So thanks. You know, Kings. You know what I'm saying? Still got the insole thing on, so it's not that bad. The insole logo. So that ain't too bad. You feel me? For ten dollars, both shoes. You know what I'm saying when I when I get shoes from like garage sale or swapping shoes, I did I do go to garage sales and get shoes from there too often. And I really just do it for fun, I'm not going to lie. I know I don't really need to, to like, just because I'm not starting from the bottom anymore when it comes to reselling, but it's just fun for me, so I just go do it anyway. Still make some money while doing it. So these, uh, I got these 13s, these grade school 13s. 20. Close. 25. 30. Mm. They're low-key taxing me today. Bro was mm. at, bro mm. wanted them for 50. I was like... I walked away, and then he called, he literally, like, hunted me down and was like, yo, yo, 
I got all this on footage too. You can look at it on TikTok. He wanted 50 for him. I wasn't going. I was like the most I would pay for these is literally $30. And I was like, that's just what it is. It's actually these and uh, these Air Maxes. Another girl shoe. Mary Maxes. I was just like, ew. The most I would do is literally $30 for um, $30 each. So he was just like, he said no. He was like 40. And then he said 35. And I was just, 35 would be 70 for both. I was like, nah, bro, I'm not doing uh, 35. Like, appreciate it though, you know what I'm saying? Like, no problem. I'm just not willing to invest that much. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I'll pass on. So I walked away. And then he literally, like, runs down the freaking street and is like, yo, yo. He's like, he's, what did he say? He said 65. So, like, basically 32 50 each. He's like, 65. I was like, nah, bro, I really could only do 60, bro. And I was really about to just dub it. Then he was just like, Come back over here, basically. So I went back. All this was on camera. Like I said, you can watch the video on TikTok when I post it. And uh, I ended up getting these for $30 each. So that's not bad either because I see these the same way. Like, boom, sell for 50 Boom, sell for 50 $20 a piece. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's 40 So even so, just from my trip. So now, this is why I be telling y'all, like, I'm not always looking for no big ticket flip. You know what I'm saying? But those three pairs already is $60 once I sell them all. You feel me? Uh, I also got these, some white, just some uh, white Air Force Ones, some cocaine joints. Ten. I wish, bro. He, t I obviously re regret, but regret buying these. Don't tell me you paid over fifteen. Bro, I paid twenty, bro. And you yeah. know what's crazy? That's low key tax. That's no, 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 it is tax. But you know what's crazy? I low key finessed myself because. I looked at, I didn't notice how yellow this midsole was. Yeah. This one didn't look that bad, and I looked at it in the sunlight too, it didn't look that bad, but these, you know what I'm saying, I paid high on them, but I mean, I could easily sell these for 50, but I probably really would just sell them for like 35, 40 or something, just give I'm not really too pressed to make a profit on these, because honestly, I fucked up on these, I really shouldn't have bought yeah. them, I should have been firm at a 15, but you know what I'm saying, I ended up paying 20 for these. Eh, this isn't the worst, you know what I'm saying? I could wear them because they are my size, but I don't really want them. I would want my shits to look a little crispier than these. Yeah. These look kind of beat. But maybe you could do some like paint on them or I'll something. I'll dub it. Paint on them? I'll dub it. Like paint? I'll dub it. I'll dub it. I'm dubbing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm literally finna. I'm probably finna sell them for 30 and just get my money back. If not, give them away. Cause this was just, I deserve to take the L on this. I shouldn't have, I, I impulse buy it. I, I bought those off impulse. I shouldn't have did that. But it is what it is. Who cares? Uh, I got these two. You pay. Actually, look, hold this. Look at these. These are actually not bad. Yeah, I, I was literally just finna say that. These are not that bad. No chipping on them. I just thought it was not that bad. Kind of not that bad. Mm. Bro, this dude was so firm on 70. He would not. I tried so 70? hard. Yeah, he would not. He would not. Pay 70, 70 for these? No, no, no. But he, oh. wouldn't go, he wouldn't go under 70. I ended up paying 65, but basically 70. But I just thought, I basically, like, I literally said the same thing. Like, this, I could sell this. I'll probably sell these today instantly for 100. Because this is, they, these are still worth more than 100. Yeah. I sell them for a hundred. I pay sixty five. So I'm good personal. Thirty five. Oh, I'm doubling it for personal. No, no, not for you. I'm saying someone to buy them for hundred. This is a good personal for someone. This is you know someone could resell these. Look, these, these like for a hundred. Mm -hmm. The insole, all these, these are easy resale for probably like one thirty. Well, it depends how much you're looking for. I'm only looking to make thirty five. So if you can, if you're looking to sell them for one forty, you could do that because the paint is intact. There's just like you just have to, literally, you would have to invest some time to clean them up. Like just use some hit some hit them with a Jason Mark and new white laces and this is easy one hundred fifty dollars. How much you pay for them? I paid sixty five. What's the most you would have paid? Absolute most. Uh, seventy. I would have paid. I would have paid. I would have paid seventy four. You know, you went to seventy five. Uh, probably would have dubbed it. You would Cause the thing is, I mean, not cause like even like all the even this like this shit is just dirt like that would yeah. easily clean off. The leather's in good condition. Yeah, that's true. but. I don't know if I would have did 75. I probably would have been firm on 70. Cause the thing is, if I'm gonna make 20, like, I don't mind making 20 if I'm only investing $10. You know what I'm saying? Like in the Prestos. I don't mind making 20 if I'm only investing 30. But if I'm finna invest 70 for something like this, I probably dub it. I mean, seven, I probably 75, I probably dub it. Cause now it's like, I probably, rather, I don't know. I'd have to see. It depends low key. 
Because these aren't bad. If you're like a, a, like a new reseller, you got to look for certain things, you know what I'm saying? And these are very, even these could be worth more depending on what you do. If you want to invest two more dollars and get laces, they'll be winning clean laces. They'll be worth more, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, hey, are these my size? I might hoop in them. Nah, I'm doing it. Because I already sold on these. So, like, yeah. So, like, you know what I'm saying? This is, this is basically what I got at the farm meet. These... These, I'm, I'm not happy. I'm not mad I bought these. These, you know what I'm saying? It was good. The way I look at it is 20 profit, 20 profit, 35 profit, 20 profit. That's what I'm going to sell them for. So it's going to be like 60 plus 35, $95. Almost $100 that I'm going to make from just going that trip to the swap meet. You know what I'm saying? I'm probably going to sell these all today, to be honest. Because for some on my page, I got a lot of young resellers that, not, that can't buy court purples and mochas and stuff to flip. And they're trying to get into it, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to throw up some steals. Stuff that's really cheap that someone can flip for more you know what i'm saying because if you buy these for 30 you can get 50 from somebody buy those for 50 you can get 80 from somebody that type mm -hmm. of thing you feel me buy these for 100 you can get 140 from somebody but the forces i sold on the forces you want them no you don't want the forces no bro you know? i do not wear beta forces we oh, like clown shoes bro what are you talking about if they put them on my feet what size is that 12. I'm 10 and a half. But it would be funny. They're like banana boots. Heck no. <laughs> you wear them. Oh, I'm done. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I just really wanted to make this video to show y'all some uh, some different like overall investment. Let me see the overall investment really just this. And I don't mind, you know, I love doing shit like this. Like this is why, this is why I do it. It's fun to me, you know what I'm saying? So. And it's a, it's a good little tip. So you don't always have to buy. Crazy, crazy heat. That's what I'm saying. This is how you start. This is like, this goes with episode one. Like, this is how you start from zero. Like, you find a way to get $50 and you can buy an eye. If you could, with $50, you could have literally got these and these. That's two pairs of shoes you could start with. You feel yeah. me? So, I'm going to say, so like 10 plus 65 plus 60. So, my overall investment well, was 135. Well, those two plus 20. 155 that's actually not bad for 20 now that i'm looking at these uh, 20 is not actually is actually not bad because they're not there's not, no rips or nothing for that i could probably uh make a couple bucks off that literally that's not that bad a couple literally bucks. a couple bucks though well so 155 is how much i invested in these so let's say i sold for 30 plus uh i sold 50 plus 50 plus 100 plus 40 so 270 is how much i should make from this so 270 minus 155 that's 115 dollars profit that's me that selling these uh you basically pretty low to be honest like a lot of resellers i feel like would try to tax more for these because i just see that's what people, i mean the dude that i was trying to buy them for buy them from most of these people were off were asking more than i'm selling them for myself except mm. for these but i'm gonna have to put some work into those i'll have to literally clean them up get some fresh new laces Make them look better, you feel me? And then do it then, but no, where he left them dirty, you know what I'm saying? We ain't gonna do all that. But, you know what I'm saying? That's $100 made in a day for me because I can sell them easily. But regardless, that's just to give you an idea of what happens, you know what I'm saying? And if you, uh, if you selling stuff for low, you can move all this stuff too, you feel me? And if you follow the tips from my other reselling videos, you can definitely sell stuff like this. You can post them on a bunch of apps. These would move on goat. These would move on goat. Like somebody will buy them if you get them for low enough. You feel me? But anyways, I appreciate you guys for watching. Let me know if you want me to let you guys know or show you guys what I buy from garage sales and swap meets more often because I do do this often. Every single weekend, I'm at the swap meet and I go to garage sales every weekend to try and find shoes like this or shoes for ten dollars, shoes for fifteen dollars. You know what I'm saying? But on my YouTube, I normally post more like, like actually like. Sneakers, sneakers, like you know, what I'm saying hype shoes and stuff like that, and I show more like sneaker meet, uh, sneaker meetups and sneaker events and stuff. So let me know if you want to get me to get thrifty on here, cause I get a lot of stuff from the thrift and the swap meets and the garage sales. But um, I guess we're just gonna cut this video off here, man. I appreciate you guys for watching. Stay tuned, more content coming. Episode three of how to uh, how I make a living reselling sneakers. It's gonna be based off making connections, get a building clientele, stuff like that. So that's gonna be another good one. Um, you know, what I'm saying drop a lot of gems for y'all. Appreciate y'all for watching, man. Signing out. Out of town, never saw her before. Tell her, baby, we don't got that long. Listen, it's not my city show.
All right, y'all, so a mystery package just got, uh, just got in. So let's see what we ended up getting. Y'all know how the mystery box G ways go. Jordan secures my deals. We see if he got me a steal or not. box i'm gonna say court purple that's crazy <laughs> i'm already knowing we got hella court purples in here and royal clothes y'all yeah we really working out here this whole section is looking good i'm gonna say another court purple wow that's crazy. That's crazy. This is the first time I ever got them right. A good <laughs> bonus clip for y'all. Thanks. Not even gonna tell y'all how much I paid because y'all be pocket watching and then DMing me thinking I'm gonna pay whatever price y'all say. Don't work like that, buddy. Appreciate y'all for watching though. We signing off for real this time.